Morning boys and girls. First day back to work after my holiday. Well, I'm, uh, I'm only nipping to go and do a job because I've got an MOT tomorrow, so I've got to go and get steam clean and loaded and that. Uh, and I've got a little birdie today, so uh, Nanny's looking after her, Nanny and Grandad off. Yeah, it was a cushy holiday, thank you for all your comments. It was good, we had a good time. Now it's back to reality, isn't it? Best go and get my meal deal, Anna. They've been missing me at Tesco. I lost my wallet and all uh, on the plane, plane journey there, or on the transfer from the plane to the first hotel where we went to. I lost my wallet somewhere in between that. So that was a good start to the holiday, wasn't it? Oh yeah, before that and all, Grandad on the way down there was stopped at some services, couldn't get his car started because his battery went flat in his key fob. But all you have to do, if you've got one of them, uh, no ignition, because there's the fucking no ignition key uh, hole in his car. So we was red, fucking head scratching, trying to look for people for a battery. And in the end, you just have to put the key fob up to the ignition. There's like a little key symbol. Put it up there and then you can start it. So that was the first ball late, like, but still. There's bound to be some struggles, isn't there? Right, let's go and do some work. Oh yeah, we got delayed and all. Our flight got delayed on the way back for 14 hours our flight got delayed for. Luckily, we still had the place we stayed till 12 o'clock, so we only had to burn a, uh, about four or five hours. Uh, but some of them, obviously, had to. They, they actually got to the airport. We didn't actually get to the airport. Amy got a text message before we got to the airport, before we got the transfer. So we was quite lucky, but some of them got to the airport and then they realised it was delayed and then they had to stay at the airport. Then they got another accommodation. So some of them had it harder than us. And i tell you what it was down to. It was down to driver's hours. Well, not driver's hours, pilot's hours. Obviously, they must be like uh, like lorry drivers. They only have a certain amount of hours and they have to have a certain uh, amount of time off. And just the way it landed, they couldn't get a pilot out or someone was ill, someone stood by it. Uh, and then he had to wait for his 14 hours time off before he could fly the, the plane back. So that was fun as well, wasn't it? We got an extra, well, got an extra few hours there, didn't we? Looks like I won't be getting my meal deal. I forgot my standby wallet, that's at home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll have to crack on without my meal deal, won't I? I ain't got no change in here for a monster drink, have I? Shrap now. Oh well, bugger it. No, nothing. Right, let's get steaming. And I don't mean drunk. We've had enough of that with that FS lager or beer, whatever it is in Turkey. Not as good as my fosters, but not a bad drink. Come on, let's get steaming. Yeah, let's get steaming. Hey! Not as fun as the other one, is it, that ain't? The other one where you're actually like on your back getting wet through. Not quite as fun as the other let's get steaming. Right. Let's get set up. Yeah, forgot about this old chestnut. When I went away, I uh, deadlocked it there, look. So I can't open it. Uh, and I deadlocked the back one as well, look, there. But I couldn't get my key out, so I just left my key in while I was all all this time. So now I have to struggle to get my key out, don't I? But luckily, look. Oh, fuck. I'm going to say, this is open, isn't it? No oh, fucking hell. I thought it was open. No, it's locked. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> Let the struggles begin. Fucking hell. Oh, you watch. I end up snapping the key off, won't I? I can't get in my side door. I've got to climb from my back then. Fucking hell. Well, I've got to twitter out like a bit, innit? I'm lacking time. I just have to get in through the back doors all the time. Just struggling. Oh, 
all that. Yeah, this is actually a uh, 10 tonner, this lorry, but it's been down rated to a uh, seven and a half tonner. I'm only going around the corner, literally just around this corner. And that's where I'm gonna get it brake tested at. Cause that's just the kind of guy I am. That's if I can get in the place. Parking brake on one. No. No, just two. At first, you test the ovality of it, so you have to hold it on a on a gauge and hold your foot brake there, and it reads the ovality of it. Make sure the disc ain't walked through on both sides of the front. And then once it's red there, it tells you to press foot brake all the way down. Hold current pedal, freeze press foot brake all the way down. There, to maximum. There's no park at the front of this, so we're on to the second axle in a minute, when it's pressed the buttons, like now. Make sure your air is built up. Locked out on that side, on the near side. Locked out on the off side, that's good. Let's announce next it's park. We've got park on the back axle. Park brake now. That's a lock. And that's a lock as well. So it's got good brake readings. Locked out at the front and locked out on the back on service and on park. So she should be a good one. While I'm in a pit, I'm just going to have a quick look round it all. These lads are good enough to let me have a look round it under here. Obviously I've prepped this, but I'm, I've been on my back, haven't it? It's not the best. You're far better down this pit, look. Nice and dry, nice and light. What's happening to this torch? There it is. Yeah, that's right, yeah, go on. Yeah, we're all right at that, Mick, thank you. Mick, just put your hand on the brake, would you, while you're there? Lovely job. Thank you, Mick. Bloody good show, Mick. What a good show. Bloody good man and a bloody good show. We're believing on the next train, babe. She's a beauty. Yep, passed with flying colours. That's what we like to see. I've just got a secure lamp at the back. One of the reversing lamps is uh, is a bit insecure. Uh, and I've got to put a 56 mile an hour speed set sticker somewhere in the cab because I can't find one.
That'll do me. This is as good as it's gonna get anyway. Just got this lamp up. Hmm. That'll do, that'll do. Right, I'm gonna pick a chamber up now. One lad's got a brake chamber leaking on his trailer. So I shall go and collect a new chamber. Here we go. Oh. Lads at party just said, how was your day, Chris? Said, oh yeah, it's crushed here. Yeah. Uh, apart from the three or four hours drive to the airport, waiting at the airport for about fucking two or three hours, uh, try to keep all the kids entertained. You get ripped off at the airport for all the drinks and the food and all that shit. Uh, going in the airplane over there, uh, been herded around like cattle all the, all the time, uh, queuing up, waiting, getting a transfer to a, a, a temporary hotel, getting all set up there. Uh, in the morning, getting a transfer to another temporary hotel while while our one was getting ready or whatever, and then getting a transfer from there to the hotel, uh, losing my wallet in the process somewhere, I don't know where. Uh, and then obviously we're there, so that was all good uh, on holiday, crushed it, had four days there or what, and then the same shit coming back for 24 hours. <laughs> so all in all, crushed the holiday, wasn't it? You know, four days, two days worth of travelling, crushed day. Well, four, or was it five days there? I don't know, anyway. Fucking two full days worth travelling, I know that. Oh yeah, and got delayed 14 hours as well on the way back. <laughs> Just to add that little cherry on the top of the holiday cake. What a beautiful time I had. It was good though, like, don't get me wrong, I liked it, I enjoyed it. The people there in Turkey are absolutely lovely. They're lovely people. I went on this boat trip and this old boy there was 18 years old. He uh, he ran his own boat. Well, his dad must have bought it for him. Uh, his dad runs boats all for the tourists. His dad was into fishing, local, like a local lad, into his fishing. His dad was into his fishing. And then the more tourism come around the area. Uh, so he bought a tourist boat to take us all around. Uh, like the little islands and all that shit. Which was really good. It, it was a cushy day out. They fed us all as well. They were about like three or four meals while we was on the boat. Uh, so that was good. It was all good, really. It's just the getting there and back, innit? It just... Oh. You know, when you got kids and all? You know, if you ain't got so many kids... I've got five kids, obviously. And it, it's boring for a minute. You know, if you didn't have kids and you're just two adults there, I could sit there and people watch. It didn't fucking bother me. I could sit there all day. But when you've got to entertain and feed and drinks and all this up with your kids, it's fucking dear oh do, and it's a boring oh do and all. For the kids, like. But never mind. It was all right. <laughs> we'll do it all again next year. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Right, I've got to wait now for this wagon coming in, so I'm going to pick up our birding. I just thought to myself, I ought to set up a different channel, didn't I? The Miserable Holiday Maker and record it all. <laughs> the Miserable Holiday Maker abroad. <laughs> the struggling, miserable holiday man. Oh, waiting again. <laughs> it is just like being cattle though, isn't it? Herded it around everywhere, like herded into this bit and you sat there grazing and that on the real expensive fucking food and drink. You have to sit there grazing on it. Come on. If nothing else, it's fun, eh, okay? Got to laugh or should just cry about it. Can I do it? Other one? That's it. Go on. Way! Good girl. Well done. Hey. You are clever. You are. Ain't ya? Going round again, that's it. She's mastered that already. Yeah. We're down again? Yeah, get your right. Yay! <laughs> well done. <laughs> He's got a key, doesn't he? I've just built our little birdie that up, that little plaything there. Uh, we've had it for about two months, but uh, 
she hadn't been that old to use it. But when we was on holiday, she was up and down these slides. So I thought, oh, let's build that up while I've got a chance. She's good, isn't she? She loves it. Someone sent me a thing as well for our birding. Put that down there. Look, look at this, look. Look at this, what someone sent me through the Struggler's post box. Baby Struggler! <laughs> Gosh, the little now. Oh, thank you, Andy. Hey, oh, Josh. That's Andy's son, Josh. He looked at me as well. All right, lad. Hey, thank you, Andy. That's very much obliged, that is. Oh, we design and print as well. You've got your number, Andy. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Better than my bloody thing, eh? What I've got. This merch, what I've got. That's good, Andy. Thank you. Much appreciated, that. You've got a very generous dad there, Josh. <laughs> hey, this look as well. Our missus bought this when we was all they duty free thing. She just caught me there. It's uh, just come in there and she says, uh, You know that, that perfume what I bought when I was there? I said, Yeah. She says, uh, She was Googling it today, see how much it, it, you know, see how much cheaper it was what she bought it for than what it would be if you bought it from a shop. And she says, uh, It's not perfume at all, it's for men's. <laughs> I said, Andy, that'll be mine then. Isn't it? I can't tell the difference, I can't. It smells like women's to me. It looks like a woman's thing at all, doesn't it? Hello? Ben? Yo. Yo, yo. There's just loads of me now. Two, two of us at it. Ah, oh, you won't be long then. All right, I'll get in my van. Right, See you a bit, mate. That worked out good, didn't it? That's my next job, that chamber. Yeah, it don't look... It looks fucking... Looks feminine to me, that. But still. I'll have it. I'll use it. At the minute, I've got my Skegness Pier. What a great idea after shave. £20 for about four or five of them. <laughs> Trouble is, it they smell nice when you spray them on you, but it only lasts about, I don't know, about five minutes. You can't smell it then after that. Right, come on, let's get... I need to get this key out, really, but... Sod it. I'll have to work around it, won't I? I've been too sidetracked doing our little birdies climbing frame. Come on, let's go and do it. Well, let's go and change this chamber. Yeah? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, it's around this clamp. Yeah, you can't do it with that. No. Yeah, that's sealed. That is 20 anyway, that bit. Yeah, so it's pressurised down the yellow line, you see. That's why you come to it when you drop the line. We shall whip her off then, 20.
Right, on again then, one out. See, that was easy, wasn't it? Now you've got to make sure that's all the way out and then measure it from there to there and chop it. Of course, I can't get me measure because it's in one of the pigeonholes and the side door's shot, can't open it, can I? Ha! So I'll have to measure it with this. You like that, don't you? I like it. That's the only alive battery I've got. Fuck it. I ain't going all the back to charge up, this is it, it's all gone. I'll have to hacksaw it if not. Ah, back to the old school. I don't like using the old school method. She's gone. These back to ones are good. But they're even better when you charge the battery up on them. <laughs> the trusty air grinder. Well, hey, you take the power break off. Get him to try it. Lovely. Beautiful, Twenny. My compressor, ah. Uh. Got 20 on it now, look. <laughs> Snap! Oh! You don't want to get five on. Oh, yeah, five on. Go on, Tony, you leave it outside. Let's just hold it so it's level. Nothing. Try it up like that then. Okay. <laughs> We're not using the side door for I'll just move my toolbox to here. <laughs> got a new idea. Leave that in there and move the toolbox to here. <laughs> I'll put my compressor in the side door because I don't use that very often. I'll look. Fix it, you think? You don't need to fix it at all. Just come up with a new solution. Yeah. Oh, we've got a new beer. <laughs> Did you know before you went all of it? You did Yeah, I tried. Car. No, I, I tried it a bit like. I thought, oh, fuck that. I, I, I was rushing around, wasn't I? I thought it would come, come out when I get back. I'd have been alright if I had a spare key. I wanted to leave that chunk in there. 
didn't yeah the struggle will continue with that tomorrow that's for tomorrow's episode guys oh it gets worse oh don't tell me anymore <laughs> don't look around too much twenty oh fucking hell cheers twenty you got the i have have a good day twenty a better day tomorrow Hey, look, he's got a new truck here, look. Look at 20's new truck. He's got a brand new truck today. He was all happy going out this morning. His donkey engine won't start flat battery, and now he's had a chamber going on. Look, a daft look. He usually has Volvos. Uh, Scanyards, don't you, 20? Oh, he's a shoe man, look. Is it clean in there? It wants to be done <laughs> If it's not clean. <laughs> What's it like, Tony? Is it because you're a Scania man, really, ain't you? If you take the seat out of this and the comfort of this and put it to the Scania, you'd be all right. You'd have the best truck on the road. Mm, I'm there, so comfortable then. <laughs> Looks smart, anyway. Super singles at the front <laughs> and at the back. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it is like a little. Yeah. Yeah, no wind deflectors, right? How come you go for no wind deflectors? Because obviously you're on that, aren't you? Less bullshit, eh, hey, Twine? Does look smart though, doesn't it? Simple but effective. No, no frills. See you, mate, Twine! Woo woo! Yay! That's what we like. No, I haven't left out. You know how I like to leave stuff. <laughs> All right, PJ. That was the other day. I just your video. All right. <laughs> this is Craig, look. Craig's an old friend of mine from school. How are you doing? He's no doubt getting some beers as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of that foreign stuff, which I work for me fosters. <laughs> I'm just meeting Nicky at testing station uh, and to tell out why for its test. I like to be there just in case we come across any little problems, you know, like bulbs out or like that. It's better to be there and not be needed than to be needed and not be there. And it's cold this morning as well, which isn't nice. Yeah, she passed all right. Uh, I just had to put a reflector on it. One of the reflectors was missing on the side. Silly me. Well, apart from that, she was all right. I'll go and get a freaking McDonald's uh, breakfast, won't I? We're still on breakfast meals. Come on, mate, move out of the way. Coming through. Struggle bus coming through. Just been to the charity shop. Look, we are a little khaki bod. She got herself a little trolley and some blocks. Look at my new roof, look. <laughs> this is a deer stalking hat, this is. What Sherlock Holmes has. Hello. Oh, look at my shoes as well, look. Look at them bad boys. Hey, they're dancing boots, they are. Four pound them shoes. About three pound for this hat. Uh, got some jeans in there, about two or three pound. A trolley, all together about 12 quid or something. You think, God, I got a full outfit and toys in that 12 quid. Cheap, innit? Come on then, princess. Probably she takes about 10 years to go across the yard. Elementary, dear Watson, elementary. Right, now I've got my Struggler Holmes hat on, I'll be able to investigate and find a solution to the major problem of the key struck in the lock. The key, my girl. <laughs> mm. Now, looks like it's had some fluid around here. Ah, it looks as though somebody's had some grips on it. And by the looks of all this, they've had a pry bar trying to pry it out, pry it out. Don't worry, my girl, we will find a solution to this problem. You have struggle homes on your side. What? Was that a no then? She's got no faith in struggle homes. Is that what we're going to use? Shall we use that? Come on, let's use that then. On here. 
Yeah. That's the position it needs to be in. There. I'm pretty sure. Right, pass me them. Holmes, pass me them. Thank you. <laughs> Right, I need to get some lubricant on the job. Right, watch out the way then, my girl. Watch out the way. Oh, daddy fine there, though. What's that? That's a good ball, isn't it? Yeah. Now, don't shut me in. I don't want to be stuck in there, do I? I'll be stuck in there if you shut me in. Airplane, yeah, good girl. Airplane, isn't it? Did you see it? Did you just hear it? Look at that lot, spilt brake cleaner on my new bloody shoes already. Would you believe that? Why do I wear my new shoes? Hey, my girl, a bit of that'll stain, will it? Brake cleaner. <laughs> Honestly, I can't have anything, can I, my girl? I'm going to try brake cleaner in it. Let's do it. Struggle at home, think that brake cleaner might help. You mustn't force it. We must extract the key gently. In these cases, my girl, we must extract the key very gently. By using a rather large ply bar and some grips. Gently does it. Struggle. Any ideas, my girl? Because I'm running out of them. Hockey me. How can it be so tight? Look, it's like pulling the barrel out look at the same time i wonder if i hold that barrel in like that and then try and pull the key out i wonder if that barrel coming out is jamming up the the thing is on the key ah that's what struggler home thinks anyway we shall try it i shall hold that barrel while trying to remove the key I told you! Bloody idiot! Because the barrel was for my girl! Holmes! I've done it! It's because the barrel was coming out with it! <laughs> ah. ha. I knew struggler Holmes would find it. Well done, Holmes! Couldn't have done it without you. Ta-da! We're in, my girl! The struggle bus is open for service. All thanks to struggle homes. Yeah, we are. Look how happy she is. How happy are you? Hey? We've got the sandy sanders. Have you been helping with that sand? Well done, my girl. We shall never lock it again. Hi, my name's Struggle Holmes. And if you want to reach your feminine side, use Valentino for men.
that's what Struggler Homes uses. I'm going to put this on it tonight, Andy, because I can't put it on it now. Look, this nice white top, because look what she's pleasing. She might get a spot of dirt on it if I put it on her now. That's for the best, my girl, isn't it? Right, guys. Now that little thing's over. I'll see you on the next one. My girl, say bye-bye to everyone. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Go, girl. See? And do we get a whoop-whoop? Whoop-whoop. Do a whoop-whoop. Whoop-whoop. <laughs> yeah. That's near enough, that's it, I'm near enough for Newark. Push the little dough. Right guys. Thank frick that's up. Catch you on the next one. See you later. Right, care over there.